Welcome to the DIY Honda Garage Channel. The DTC U0155 indicates a failure in the controller area network, CAN communication, specifically within the flexible CAN, FCAN system that connects the engine control module, ECM, to the gauge control module, which is responsible for the tachometer and other gauge functions. This issue can hinder various dashboard readings, compromising the vehicle's operation and diagnostics. Understanding the components involved is critical. The ECM, located usually near the engine bay, processes essential information from sensors and acts as the brain of the vehicle. The gauge control module, typically situated on the dashboard, converts this process data into visual metrics for the driver. A malfunction in the FCAN network can severely affect vehicle functionality, leading to potential safety issues. Hence, it's crucial to address this error promptly. The error denoted by DTC U0155 arises from a malfunction in the FCAN system, which facilitates communication between the ECM and the gauge control module. This communication is vital for accurate readings on the dashboard gauges, including the tachometer, which represents engine RPMs. If the FCAN system fails, it can lead to incorrect information being sent to the driver, or even a complete loss of communication. The ECM, located near the vehicle's engine, interprets sensor signals, while the gauge control module is typically installed behind the dashboard to showcase these metrics. Understanding the location and function of these components is crucial for diagnosing the root cause of the problem effectively. Several factors can lead to the DTC U0155. Poor connections at the gauge control module or ECM may disrupt the signals required for accurate communication. Additionally, loose terminals can create intermittent failures. An open wire in the FCAN system can also prevent proper signaling between the ECM and the gauge control module. This open wire scenario can originate from physical damage, wear and tear, or faults in the wiring harness. Lastly, a faulty gauge control module itself could be the root cause, necessitating substitution to rule out this possibility. Each of these causes should be thoroughly investigated during the troubleshooting process. Symptoms associated with DTC U0155 can vary, but typically include erratic or incorrect readings on the gauges, notably the tachometer not functioning properly. Drivers may notice that certain dashboard indicators don't reflect real-time data or may fluctuate unexpectedly. Additionally, intermittent vehicle behavior signals that the communication with the ECM is unstable, impacting various engine performance metrics. These symptoms can lead to confusion and potential misdiagnoses if not correctly attributed to the FCAN issues. It's crucial to document these manifestations of the error to trace back accurately to the underlying cause during the troubleshooting phase. In the first step of troubleshooting for DTC U0155, you need to turn the ignition switch to the on position, which powers the vehicle electrical systems without starting the engine. Next, it's essential to clear any existing DTCs using the Honda Diagnostic System, HDS, a specialized tool for Honda vehicles that allows for fault code management and system diagnostics. Once cleared, you will check for any pending or confirmed DTCs within the HDS, ensuring that U0155 is indicated. If U0155 appears, this confirms the failure. However, if not, then the problem may be intermittent, which could suggest issues with wiring connections that need to be checked. Thoroughly examining these connections is key in diagnosing potential issues effectively. The next step involves checking for any body electrical system DTCs using the Honda Diagnostic System, HDS. 
This action ensures a comprehensive examination of all potential electrical issues that might influence the F-CAN system. You will specifically be looking for DTCs B1168, B1169, and B1178, which pertain to body control architecture. If any of these codes are indicated, that suggests a deeper electrical issue that needs addressing prior to moving ahead with diagnosing the F-CAN malfunction. On the other hand, if none of these codes are shown, that's an indication to proceed to the gauge control module input test. Accurate diagnosis of body electrical issues is critical for resolving the U0155 problem. For the third troubleshooting step, you will check for an open wire condition in the FCAN H line. To initiate this test, turn the ignition switch to the lock position, ensuring the vehicle systems are powered down. After that, using the HDS, jump the SCS line, which refers to the short circuit switch, allowing for more detailed diagnostics. Disconnect the ECM connector A, 49P, and the gauge control module tachometer 32P connector before checking for continuity. The specific test points for evaluation include ECM connector A at pin number three and gauge control module connector at pin number 19. If continuity is detected, it indicates that the FCAN H wire is intact, suggesting the fault lies elsewhere. If continuity is absent, you'll need to repair the open wire located between the ECM and the gauge control module. Following the continuity test for the FCAN H line, you'll now conduct a similar test for the FCAN L line. Again, ensure that the ignition switch is in the lock position and connectors for the ECM and gauge control module are disconnected. In this step, Check continuity between test point one on ECM connector A at pin number four and test point two on the gauge control module connector at pin number 20. If you find continuity in the FCAN L line, that shows the wiring is also functional, leading you to substitute the gauge control module with a known good unit to verify its operation. If after the substitution, DTC U0155 is not indicated anymore, that confirms the original gauge control module was faulty and replacement is required. In the repair verification phase, systematically ensure all components and connectors are reconnected properly, beginning with the ignition switch in the lock position. Once everything is secured, turn the ignition switch to the on position to power up the systems while monitoring for any error codes via the Honda Diagnostic System, HDS. An essential step involves resetting the ECM to ensure it recognizes the new conditions post-repair effectively. If DTC U0155 remains present, it suggests there may be lingering issues such as poor electrical connections or loose pins at the gauge control module or ECM. In such a scenario, you ought to revisit the troubleshooting steps to identify unresolved problems. If no errors are indicated, this marks the completion of the troubleshooting process. To prevent the recurrence of DTC U0155, Regular preventive maintenance practices should be integrated into routine vehicle care. This includes performing regular checks of all electrical connectors, especially those related to the ECM and gauge control module, to ensure they are firmly connected and show no signs of corrosion or damage. Monitoring electrical systems for early signs of malfunction or unusual behavior can allow for timely interventions. Reducing the likelihood of communication failures. Additionally, conducting periodic system diagnostics with the HDS can help catch emerging issues before they escalate into more complex problems. Being proactive about these maintenance checks will enhance vehicle reliability and performance. In conclusion, 
DTC U0155 points to a crucial communication issue within the FCAN network between the ECM and the gauge control module. Identifying the root cause is vital, as these components work closely to relay important information to the driver. Proper troubleshooting steps were outlined, emphasizing the importance of thorough inspections for wiring continuity, connections, and the replacement of faulty components. Regular diagnostics can help in monitoring the health of these systems, thereby ensuring optimal vehicle performance. By addressing this DTC promptly and adhering to preventive maintenance practices, you can maintain reliable communication within the vehicle's electrical systems, ultimately enhancing overall safety and operational efficiency. Please like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.